In the last screencast I introduced you how to quickly define your own snippets and we discussed most of the basic text elements that AltiSnips understands. For today I promised you to tell you more about Python interpolation, which is AltiSnips most powerful feature. I will not do that today, but instead I will give you a quick rundown of the new features in AltiSnips 2.0, which I released today. We will talk about Python interpolation in the next screencast. AltiSnips 2.0 is a near complete rewrite of AltiSnips, which fixes a lot of bugs and brings some new features. The only new text element for snippets in this release is the visual token, which adds interaction with WIMP's visual selection mode. But this version also adds support for normal mode editing and moving in insert mode. Both were not possible in earlier versions of AltiSnips. Let's start by looking at insert mode navigation and normal mode editing. Today we use Tech as an example. I start out by inserting a new section in this document. A nice section. Oops, I made a typo there. I can use the cursor keys to navigate to the typo and fix it and AltiSnips will pick up on the change. So, this should be a C. I can now also exit insert mode and move around in the snippet and use normal mode editing to change tab stops. For example, I go down and write some text here. Now I go up to the title again and I change two words. So, change two words. A fantastic section. And the snippet updates accordingly. I'm happy with the title and jump forward now by pressing Ctrl J twice. I have now reached tab, top, tab stop 0, which means that AltiSnips consider this snippet done. If I now change anything in the title, the mirrors will no longer be updated. So I go up here and I change something and the snippet does no longer update because it is done. The second way to exit a snippet is by leaving its range. So I have inserted a new section. And if I now use the cursor keys to navigate out of the section, AltiSnips will realize that I have left the snippet and will consider it done as well. So if I go down again and change the section name, the snippet will no longer be updated. Okay, let's undo that and add some filler text here. Imagine that I just realized that these lines here, those, should be in another section. This gives us a chance to discuss visual. Let's edit the tech snippets by using AltiSnips Edit. AltiSnips Edit. So this is how the section snippet currently looks. So we have the first tab stop which contains the section name, then a convoluted transformation which makes the uh, label, and here in the end we have the mirror that repeats the name of the section. And here in between we have the zero tab stop. I will now add visual in front of the zero tab stop. So dollar visual like that. I can now go over to the other file again, select the lines that I want to use and press tab once. AltiSnips will now remember the lines and paste them into the visual token in the next snippet that I will expand. So I go down here and now I insert a new section and you can see that the lines that I have selected were inserted here just where the visual token is. Obviously this does not only work for lines. I will update the emphasis snippet with the visual token as well. I will add it here. Visual and the default value should be text. If there was no visual selection when I expand the snippet, it will just use the default text for the visual token. But I can now easily emphasize already existing text. So I go down here, switch to visual mode, select those, those two words and now I can just press tab, e, tab and I am done. This concludes the third AltiSnips screencast. AltiSnips is a community project and lives by your participation. Please help us updating the shipped snippets with visual where appropriate and also send in your new and improved snippets. The next time we will have a close look at Python interpolation. Thanks for watching.